All right, concrete day. Um, I just called the concrete company and increased the order from 7.75 yards to nine. Eric had me nervous that we didn't have enough, so, uh, and then he said that they just bring it back and pour forms and stuff, and it doesn't really cost you to take, take it back if you have extra, so. Um, but better to have extra than not enough. It might look like a little bit of chaotic scene down there, but those are all the boxes. Um, got shims kind of everywhere, level, um, ready for battle. That, this is the part that got, that has me stressed. Um, I'm working on setting these boxes, boxes, getting them level, and getting the, gonna pour the sonda tubes and then put the boxes on top, then shovel concrete into the boxes, get them level, flatten them out. Now I'm using this product, just spraying it inside of those boxes. So it's a form release. It kind of is an oily substance that allows when you take the forms off to uh, come off a little easier. So.
Well, concrete is in. Uh, it was a whirlwind, uh, went fairly smooth. Glad to have all the help I did. Um, John came out with my dad, so that was an extra set of hands. Um, my brother, Sam, and then my father-in-law, Dean. So uh, between uh, the group, we were all busy the whole time. I asked the concrete truck driver if it went smoothly. He's like, oh yeah, that's, yeah, you guys did great. So I was a little bit worried about, you know, a professional and keeping them on site too long. We said, no, that was, that was all just fine. So everything looks straight um, with the marks and uh, we put levels on it, all these boxes. So I think that they're fairly level as it's hard to do in the moment, but I think it was worth our while. Um, whatever we did was better than, than not ha having them level. Um, and then on the far side where the pad is gonna go, I think everything, uh, the, all the rebar is placed appropriately, so I'm happy with that. Um, I did change the order to nine yards of concrete, and um, we had a little bit left, but not much. Uh, 7.75 wouldn't have done it, so glad Eric talked me into that. Got a little thunderstorm in the background happening. Um, glad we got the concrete in and, uh, before that happened. Uh, everything looks good. Next up on the agenda is uh, we're going to rent a jumping jack uh, compactor and go around all the piers to make sure they're good. And then we'll start bringing in gravel and raising the platform up to on the south end to where we're going to pour the concrete slab. And then on the north end here, we'll bring it up to grade. Um, uh, with gravel. So lots of dirt work on this project, but everyone that's looked at it says uh, barn should stand for 100 years. So that's what we're doing. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.